Hello everyone, this is going to be a short video and we'll be covering a um, very uh, dangerous um, um, issue uh, when you have electronics with uh, leaking uh, batteries. Um, I just found those two devices um, that I had uh, somewhere for years and you can see this old TV has stains and some kind of liquid on the back side. Um, I shouldn't be touching this. I shouldn't be touching this and, and I won't but I just want to show you um, how it looks like. It looks terrible. Uh, I need to open the battery compartment so we can take a look inside but I'm pretty sure that uh, this is um, um, electrolyte from the uh, batteries and it yes it looks like heck in here um, I think those batteries are um, alkaline batteries and um, uh, what we have to deal with is uh, potassium hydroxide which is a strong alkali and um, the electrolyte has been all over the place the other device is my um, uh, PlayStation's uh, remote controller for use uh, with uh, the console uh, when it's used like a DVD and the same we have here uh, left for years and we have corrosive um, caustic uh, acid um, leaking the same condition so how to deal with this this is pretty serious um, um, I think uh, before we can do anything um, um, you, you need to put some uh, gloves on it's stuck uh, it's uh, sometimes hard to pull the batteries out um, so I strongly suggest you uh, use um, uh, a pair of gloves uh, before you, you touch anything and uh, actually you, um, if you can just don't touch anything you can use various tools to pull the batteries out and clean the compartment um, so let's get on with this it really makes no difference um, if there are normal batteries um, or any kind of batteries um, instead of potassium um, hydroxide could be sulfuric uh, acid instead doesn't matter what I have here is uh, some vinegar uh, mixed with lemon juice um, and this is the the magic recipe to um, neutralize the electrolyte and clean the compartment again try to use some kind of tool like this screwdriver I'm using uh, here to pull the batteries out before we can start cleaning the compartment by the time we are going to be pulling out the batteries um, we need to be cautious because pills of this electrolyte can be found uh, everywhere and we don't want any spills over our clothing uh, needless to say uh, our face or hands or uh, our body so um, we have to get an old piece uh, of uh, some cloth or napkin somewhere we can uh, safely put the batteries away and then we have to recycle them um, again uh, sulfuric acid is corrosive material um, it's acid in any case potassium uh, hydroxide the same um, you have to um, be very careful doing this uh, before we can apply our uh, homemade um, neutralizer uh, which in this case is vinegar with uh, some lemon juice if you don't have uh, vinegar it can be just lemon juice if you don't have lemon juice it can be just vinegar um, and in some cases if you have baking soda this is also good um, baking soda also works as a neutralizer you can see here there is a hole you can see how this battery has been disintegrated by its own material the, the, the acid uh, 
made a hole. Uh, this is common. This is common, but you can understand how dangerous this is. And you have to be cautious at all times. This one has this uh, caustic crust, uh, which actually electrolytes still. Very dangerous. Don't touch it. Um, don't uh, get it even close to your eyes. Um, uh, just put it away. Uh, this is dangerous stuff. Um, and pieces of this crust can be found on the cover. You can see the uh, cover is uh, full of that. And we have to start uh, with our, our little brush to put the um, neutralizer over the contacts. And whenever you can see some uh, um, kind of greenish material, um, this is oxi oxi oxidized, oxidized um, sorry, um, uh, metallic um, contact that needs to be cleaned. Um, it can be applied um, to all contacts, of course, but also around the plastics. This is not something we do um, just to um, remove the acid and the, this uh, caustic crust away from the contact so we can uh, make this um, device operational again. Uh, it has to be everywhere because the electrolyte has been everywhere and th th this includes a plastic area like this what I'm doing now uh, the inside uh, of the compartment, the outside of the compartment wherever the electrolyte uh, has been uh, found so just make sure um, um, you apply the uh, neutralizer, uh, in this case vinegar, around this whole area. Um, and another thing uh, to point out here um, is that we need to leave the device. Of course, we are uh, we have to be cautious and not to um, put. Uh, much of the um, neutralizer um, <coughs> inside the com battery compartment because it might uh, reach the internal circuit. We don't want that. But make sure that um, after cleaning this uh, area, the, um, the contacts and the plastics uh, and everything, you have to uh, clean it with uh, some um, water. Uh, at least this plastic part, uh, which we can do this very easily, and then you have to uh, use probably a hair dryer to uh, make sure that the device is absolutely dry before operation. Uh, and if you um, don't don't want to use it right away, just leave it out in the sun and um, make sure that it's dry and um, you can use it the very next day. So after the uh, hair dryer session um, I made sure that um, everything is dry and back to normal and the, com the battery compartment was clean. I uh, put some batteries, some fresh batteries inside and here we have a working TV. I do not expect to see uh, anything on the screen uh, as this is an analog old, very old TV but you can see the compartment is uh, in great shape, clean, fresh batteries inside. Um, so we have a working device. Um, again, um, I did the same for my um, remote controller for the PlayStation. And uh, yeah, after uh, this test with the TV, uh, I have to test this one as well. And we can call it a wrap, I guess. Um, so let's go to test uh, the remote controller and I guess we're done for the day. I guess uh, all I have to do is to go um, on and power on my beloved PlayStation 2 which actually is now on and working, we are fine with the controller and then push back the um, 
the same button for about five seconds and see that it goes to off uh, standby state yes and we are good to go uh, thanks for watching consider subscribing I'll be back with uh, new videos uh, hints and tips and uh, everything that we should know about electronics thanks